Hello, it's Bud. This lesson is to supplement an earlier lesson that's already in my download link, and it is titled Understand and Modify an MPC. That lesson shows a lot of concepts, but what I'm going to do with, with this particular lesson is look strictly at the bit applications that are being used on someone's MPC. Um, generally speaking, you're going to do this with something that someone else has given you. Um, my thinking is you probably know what you applied, but it would work on those as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's an MPC that we don't know anything about and we need to know. Uh, I see that there's an edge on here that is using some sort of a, a router bit, special bit, uh, and I'd like to know what that edge route is. And just to set the stage, an edge route is around the entire project board in Designer. Okay, it is not a cutout within the board. It is just around the outer rectangle. If I click on edge route, I highlight it. So now what I need to do is figure out what was being used. So let's see here. What I want to do is see where I can find that out. And I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, in this case, it doesn't show me an option of a router bit, but I come over to the edge route icon and click on it, and I see by the gray within the listing of the names of the bits that this is using a 90 degree v-groove bit. There is no inset, the depth is 375, there is no maximum pass depth. So that's an edge route that we get to by looking at the edge route icon once we highlight what's there. Okay. Here's a hole. If I click on it, uh, I know it's a drill. If I click on drill, it doesn't tell me anything. But if I come over here and just click, let's, let's do this again so we can see. If I just click on this and then double click, it brings up the drill specifications. If I clicked on the drill, what happens is it was expecting me to make another drill hole. Okay, so I have to double click on, on the item here. It's using the eighth inch bit. The diameter is three inches, the depth is 625. There is no max pass depth. Okay, I've got words. Okay, I can tell, I, I can figure out a lot of things by this. Okay, what font is it using? So if I right click and go to edit text, it's Times New Roman. It is centered within the field. There is no text spacing. I would usually apply some spacing. I, I like a 10 or a 12. It is not bold. It is not italic. It is center line. So it's going to use a V-bit. Okay, question is which V-bit? By default, it goes to the 90. But now if I click on the bit icon, I see that this is using the 60 degree V-groove. Okay. So now let's go down here. And it's also the 60 degree V-groove. And if I go to edit, it's also times New Roman. 
the same spacing, no arcs, no bold, and it's center line. Okay, I have the photograph that is using the carving bit. Uh, it's a quarter of an inch deep, 100 on the height. Uh, I can tell the size of this particular field. 13 plus by almost 9 inches high. Uh, the thing I don't know is which carving bit is it using? Is it using the 16th inch or is it using the 3 sixteenths? Or is it using something else? What did the person apply? Okay, so if I go to the board, go to board settings, and go to pattern bit, which that picture is a pattern, it's using the 16th inch ball nose. It could have been using the 3 16th or the 8th inch, but it's using the 16th. So that gives you just a little bit of an insight on how we do this depending on what it is. Click here on the out on, on the edge route, go to the edge route icon and you see what's going on. On the drill hole, I click on it and double click. Come on, double click. Eighth inch, three inches in diameter, six twenty five deep no max pass. Okay. The text. Right click and I can edit and see what it's using. Change it if I want to. Or and click on the bit and see it's the six, 60 degree V groove bit. Cancel that click on the pattern. I now know it's using a 16th inch carving pit and I know my specifications. So that in a nutshell is how we can tell what bits are being used. Uh, each thing you apply just a little bit differently uh, but depending on what's highlighted or what's not highlighted uh, you get an idea. You can see each bit as you go along. On your carving list, you see which ones have applied bits. Okay. <clears throat> if someone makes a cutout within a pattern, we need to go somewhere else because there's not one here. So give me a second. Okay, now if someone looks at this pattern, uh, they could get the misconception that this perimeter is an edge route, but it's not. It's actually a cutout. Now if I unhide the cutout, I see the entire board and you can tell there is no edge route. It is a cutout. If I want to know about the cutout, I come up here to this little saw icon and it tells me the cutting bit that's being used, how many tabs, what the spacing is, minimum, um, and what the tab, tab height is. Um, if there's an inset, it's listed. In this case, there is no maximum pass depth. Uh, but that's just the cutout. Okay, we also see that there's a bit assignment. So if I keep it highlighted and go to the bit assignment, I see that there is a V groove application to the edge of this cutout. And that sometimes is what people run into. They think they have an edge cut or an edge uh, bit assignment and they do not. They have a cutout with a bit assignment within the cutout. Or it could be two lines. Uh, you may see outline twice or something like that. Uh, one of which is for the cutout and the other one which is for the 
uh, OG or whatever special bit the person is applying. So that's just another thing to remember uh, in that respect. So in a nutshell, that's the kind of things we do to figure out what bit is being used on an MPC. I hope that helps. Talk to you later.